Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Woo, 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 woo. Today we are here to cover another episode of Drag Race Philippines. It's time for the Snatch Game! Woo, woo. Before we get into it, I have to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, we really- It's over here. I, I figured it out finally. Oh. It's over here. <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> we really do appreciate all the love that y'all been showing us. So join the family. We're going to have a good time. So let's discuss this episode. So this episode all together. What did you think of this episode? Actually, the Snatch Game was really good. Mm -hmm. I laughed a little bit. Um, some choices were made, but it was a pretty decent episode. It was a pretty decent episode. I agreed with Mama Pal that Runway let me down. Yes! I was like, girl, only like two people really did it for me. Everybody right? Didn't, didn't do it right. I was like, like, I was confused. Yeah. And we're going to get to it, but Mama Pal was not, was not, baby, I thought we were going to have multiple people lip syncing tonight. I really did. I'm going to say, ooh, y'all done made a mad. Oh, Lord, y'all y'all finna lip sync. <laughs> All of y'all, lip sync tournament right now. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but yes, uh, overall it was a decent episode, but let's go ahead and get into it because we got a lot to cover in this one episode. So, we start off after saying goodbye to Lady Morgana. Bridgetine mm -hmm. reads off the message, and everyone was pretty emotional over Lady Morgana's elimination. Right. Um, And I knew she was like a light in the room, but I didn't realize, you know, the connection that she made with all of these queens in such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And I just, I really thought that was beautiful just to see that connection happen really quickly because we had mm -hmm. several queens who were just really emotional behind Lady Morgana leaving. Especially yes. here, Eva. Precious Paula and Vinyas. So, uh, Bridgetine, they congratulate her on winning the lip sync, but you know, she was just as emotional because everybody had this connection with Lady Morgana. Miss mm -hmm. Marina? I don't know what her beef is with Bridgetine, but baby, this is like week two or three where she's just been constantly throwing daggers at Bridgetine in the confessionals. She's like, I am over her. She look, read, look, Lady Morgana and uh, uh, what's the other one? Never mind, we'll get to it. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, oh my baby, they are coming for my girl Bridgetine. But they congratulate Marina on getting her first win of the competition. So we come into the new day. They're having a sit down. They're congratulating all the queens for making top seven. Uh, then Marina Ooh. got her badge, so they were sitting there happy about that. We get the little Rue call. There's Mama P Mama Pal. There's Mama Rue. Now there's Mama Pal coming in, and it <laughs> no mini challenge. I see why we didn't yeah. get a mini challenge because we're gonna talk about that here in a second. Mm -hmm. That long ass snatch game. <laughs> like, can we please in it please oh my goodness sorry um but yeah it was just i i was over all of it <laughs> but we're ready to play the snatch game uh, i know it's one of my favorite challenges every season it's not like my favorite challenge every season but it's definitely one of the ones that i look forward to it's a staple mm -hmm. in the drag uh, race community for a snatch game it it will feel weird if a season didn't have one you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Even with a short <laughs> season like uh uk versus the world they still got our got us a snatch game in there you know what i'm saying yes but that's what we're doing today. And also, you got the gag us. Gag. G-A-G. <laughs> G-A-G. Gag us with your two-in-one revelations. So let's go ahead and get straight into this Snatch Game, honey, because we got things to talk about. Before we do, baby, this Snatch Game was long. Long. 
baby, about halfway through it, I'm like, okay, can this wrap up? Like, I'm enjoying myself, but I'm sitting there like, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. I, I think Philippines was like, we got production and we don't use it. And I'm not mad at them, but goodness gracious. <laughs> I was just I was just laying there because I was in my bed watching. I'm like <laughs> I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, this match game has been going for like 20 minutes. Why? It took up the whole episode just about. Oh my goodness. Now don't get me wrong. I enjoyed this match game. I really did. But it was mm -hmm. like too long. long. So for season two, y'all cut it in half, please. If you're gonna do the beauty pageant and the snatch game cut both of those in half. Oh my goodness. I didn't mind the beauty pageant, even though it was long. It was long. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind it because, you know, it was basically resembling a real beauty pageant. Baby, we're not here for the match game, honey. We, we, come on, we're here for the snatch game. So we don't have to have a whole 30 minutes of episode here. <laughs> but. Overall, I think this was a pretty decent snatch game. And for me not to know any of these characters, I found mm -hmm. myself laughing quite a few times. But let's get into it. Let's break it down. First, we're joined by our regular judge, John Santos, and Joji mm -hmm. Dinkong. I was like, okay, nice to meet you. I love Joji's answers, too. I'm like, oh, you are funny. Mm -hmm. You are funny. Of course, John was hilarious as well. But I'm like, I live for you. I live but let's go through these snatch games, honey. Up first, we have Bridgeting being Elizabeth Ramsey. She struggled. Hard. It wasn't Hard. fun. At all. And it was too serious in the wrong way. Right? Like, uber political for no reason. And it wasn't, like, even funny because I'm like, okay, I see the ant, like, the, the answer she would give, I'm like, okay, all right, I bet there's going to be a joke with this. Give it to me. And then it just falls flat. I'm like, oh, because each time it's like she's setting us up for the punchline and then she just dropped it. Mm -hmm. Bridgeting, you know I love you, sis. And you know they played in your face the first few episodes. Now you're giving them a reason to play in your face. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 was, this was a no for me, dog. This was a no for me. Right. So up next is Eva La Queen as Rufa May Quinto. Hilarious. Yes. I love how I could play the ditzy character and play it good. Because you there's been some people who play like a ditzy like character and didn't play it very well. We don't mm -hmm. know names. But I thought Eva did amazing. I laughed every time she was on the television. Every time. And the little bit that she did with her arms, I was like, that just tickled me. I didn't know who this person <laughs> was, but I was fully engaged and I was fully entertained. I really was. Mm -hmm. What did you think of Eva's performance? Yeah, it was funny. It, I chuckled, especially with the whole like breast milk commentary <laughs> towards the end. <laughs> I gave it all to my husband. But yes, I, I really did enjoy and I really felt like Eva and the next queen were finna talk over. Uh, I feel mm -hmm. like they were slept on this week. Yes. But let's move onwards to Marina Summers who played Goria Arroyo. I hope I said that last name correct. Again, hilarious. <gasps> yes. And this is how you make political funny. Yes. And then afterwards, I was on Twitter and people were sharing videos of the actual person. And I'm like, oh, my God, Marina had her down. <laughs> Marina had her down. It was uh -huh. so funny. So funny. Again, every time she got up on that screen, even towards the end when I was over it, I'm like, can we please just wrap this up? When she got on the screen, Did I was she like, come Ooh. on the screen be like... Oh, right? What, what you, what, you what, wake what you up do? a little bit and be like, okay, now what's she going to say? What's going to come out of her mouth this time? Yes. <laughs> like the only notes that I wrote down for her and for Eva, amazing. That's all I wrote down. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Both of them. They really did an amazing job uh, on this here snatch. Up next is Minty Fresh being Maria Sophia Love. Ooh-wee. 
I wrote down not funny, boring, no. Yeah, I forgot she was there for a minute. And yeah, there was she wasn't really favored much in the edit, which makes mm-hmm. it, she was probably way worse than what they were showing. But what what they were showing was my goodness. I felt like I didn't know the character. Mm-hmm. And she was real dry. And I get it. Improv is not your gig, honey. It's not uh-huh. your gig. But you, she really struggled here. She really did. Yeah. Because based off of the critiques that she got, it was like, I guess they felt like she just didn't research her character any. Honestly, I would have felt the same way too. Like, do you even know who this person is? Right? Like, why'd you pick this person if you didn't know who they were? Yeah. Up next is Crusher Paulus Nicole being Charo Santos Concio. I hope I said that correctly. This was okay. Yeah, it had moments. I like, thought you know, the mold was part, funny. Yes, the when the mold was moving and somehow ended up on the teeth. Mm-hmm. And then she was throwing molds to people and threw one to Eva and one placed on her booby. I, I, yeah, she that, left it. There. <laughs> that was like the funniest bit out of the whole thing. But the rest of it, it was pretty. It was a little dry. Mm-hmm. A little dry. Honestly, we'll get to Vinyas here up next. But if she didn't bomb that second character, I think she would have been in the bottom this week because it was just okay. Right. It was just okay. Up next is Vinyas Deluxe. And she did two characters. We're going to go over the first one real quick. Chris Aquino. This uh-huh. was hilarious. Yes, that one was funny. And I, I love the banter that she had with Silhouette. A silhouette. Like, that was so much fun. Even though it was annoying Silhouette, I thought it was funny. Right, because they were going back and forth. It was yeah. really good. I'm like, uh-oh, she might be in the top this week. Right, because in she true light. Like... Which characters? And did boy abunda. And boy was this a mess. Yes. My I don't goodness. even think they showed too much of when they changed into this character. Oh my goodness. It was just like, oh no, honey. I'm like, you was in the top. You just made it to the bottom. Just this here alone. Mm-hmm. This here alone. It, it was rough. It really was. And then we're going to talk about our last uh, snatch game. Is Dr. Vicky Bello portrayed by Silhouette. This was okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The judges lived for this. Yeah. And it just it didn't click for me. But then again, you know, we don't know this person. She might have exactly. had this person down to the T where it was just, you know, that funny where they were responding the way they did. But not knowing yep. the queen, I mean, not knowing who this person is and not really feeling the character me personally I didn't Mm -hmm. so I really put that on the cultural differences between America and Philippines Mm -hmm. because I didn't know who she was so she might have done this flawlessly to some people right and for those who are in the Philippines let us know in the comments like did she do it because you're really good at educating oh yeah they they are always helping us in the comments so let us know this Vicky Bello who she um portrayed did she do a good job because to me, it was just kind of... Right. Well, she was, obviously, she was funny to somebody because she yeah. was. Because they, they were cackling. And I'm like, why yes. are laughing so hard? This is okay at best. <laughs> Although the comment about her being the doctor, Michael Dr- George Jackson, rolled into the one was hilarious. <laughs> I think that was Eva. Eva kills me in the confessionals. Eva is so shady and funny in the confessionals. I love it. I'm like, I need you to bring that out of the confessionals. That part. Well, she's doing really good in these competitions, but now they're starting to sleep on my girl, Eva. Like, she should, <laughs> she should, we'll get to it. But I honestly felt like this was her win this week. And uh-huh. they're playing in my girl face. They really are. And it's upsetting my spirit. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, Oh, I took a couple extra screenshots of the Snatch Game. I wasn't sure what I wanted to use for the iCom for this episode, for the thumbnail. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. For so I took some extra ones. But one thing I really did appreciate about this episode, they showed them entering the workroom after Snatch Game. 
Right. We'd never seen that before. Usually Ever. We the day after. Like this is fresh off of Snatch Game. Mm-hmm. So really how do you like think you that. did? I really like that. I really did. I'm like, yeah, we should Yes, do- because then that way you got like the real reactions instead of like the next day when there's drama and you're like, wait a minute, what happened? Where'd the drama come from? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or the next day after you done calmed down, you know. Your emotions ain't where they were, so now you've accepted whatever fate has come. This is them literally as they're coming back to the workroom. So I think we should see that for all the franchises, me personally. And I enjoyed the conversations they were having. Yes. So let's get to the runway with this cotton candy fantasy that Mama Pow is wearing. What do you think of this look? It's cute. I thought it was really It's not my favorite, but it's cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's not my favorite from this season, but it still looks cute. I give it a two. Like, it is beautiful. Love the makeup as always. And I love the chest contouring. I really do. It's just something. Yes, the chest contouring has been, like, freaking amazing. It works for me. Sometimes I look at chest contouring like, really, girl? But it works on Paolo's body frame. Like, it it fits. And the, the outfits that they wear. Yes. Because it like surpasses most reality because I completely forget that they don't have tits. Yeah. But we are joined by Callie Karen, Jiggly Caliente, BJ Pascal. Uh-huh. It's nice to see you, honey. We ain't seen you since episode one. <laughs> nice to see you again. It is. And then, of course, we're joined by John Santos. No special guest this week. And it looks like we're not going to have one next week either. But that's okay. You got to remember they mm-hmm. shot this during a lockdown, so <laughs> that's fine. So the category is two in one revelation. Up first is Bridgeting. I thought this was really cute. Yeah. But when she walked out, cute. it was very clear this was going to drop and turn into a skirt, which exactly. is exactly what happened. Yep. Although it is one of my favorites this week, the reveal, the, the reveal wasn't really... A reveal. Yeah, you saw it coming. And one thing about a reveal, I love not seeing it coming. You know what I'm saying? And for mm-hmm. each one of these reveals, I saw what was coming. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure we're looking at this off the eyes of just seeing All Star 7 where everybody flawlessly did like three or four reveals in one look. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if we're still in that mind frame. Right. But I even went back and looked at other reveals, and I'm like, see, that was executed executed way better. Mm-hmm. Way better. And, you know, the first one to do it, <clears throat> uh, Tyra Sanchez, <clears throat> did a three-in-one look on season two. Remember that? Um, <laughs> the first one to Get it, it, James. Get yeah. it. Huh. And we've gotten the news that Tyra's returning. Oh, it's been a lovely week. Tyra me. or James? Tyra is returning. Tyra is returning. Yes, honey. Yes. Hey. But this is really cute. I still like it. It's just, it was, I saw it coming. I saw right. it coming. Miles away. Yeah. Marina Summers, baby. What was this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. And the I was. Reveal. This this was... is not no. And Marina normally does it for me on the runway, but this week, mm-hmm. like I said, pretty much everybody like this. This just it, it didn't hit at all for me. At all, like nobody's really like the neck up. Yeah. The, the beautiful stamped, played, love it. And again, look at the backgrounds, U.S. We have the mm. we have the material to do this. Why aren't we doing it? <laughs> Let's go to Minty Fresh again. We saw this coming. Mm-hmm. And now, that's granted, not now granted that's not a... cute, but it looks very similar to what she wore last week. And it looks a little baggy here. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that that kind of threw me off because, you know, Minty, usually, you know, she has it down pat, honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, this reveal was, was not it. What did you think of this reveal look? I wasn't a fan of it. I I don't like the after look at all. It's okay. 
It's okay. It looks cheap and tacky to me. <laughs> it is okay. Moving on to Precious Paula Nicole. Now, I have to give it to her. I didn't see her reveal coming. I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I know this is going to come off. I know it is, but how how you gonna rip it off, honey? How you gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Like I didn't see what's that. gonna be underneath. Yeah, because with the other ones, you see, oh, they're gonna rip here and then, or they're gonna drop it. I'm like, okay, well, where, where are we ripping at? We're gonna rip the skirt. The, what what were we doing? And actually, I like this look, but this look, yeah. no, no. <laughs> that's why she was just saying. <laughs> No, <laughs> I did not like the second look at all. I'm like, precious, what is going on here, my dear? Like, this is this is not it. Mm. This is not. What did you think of both looks? Uh, I liked the first look, like you said. And the second look, I was just kind of like, oh, okay. I mean, it was better than the other two reveals we had previously where nothing was really revealed or we saw it coming so it was better than that <laughs> uh, if you say so <laughs> up next is Vinyas Deluxe honey we can see the wig under the wig <laughs> fucked out I'm like oh no and then what is this then yes, I love you, honey. But these past few weeks, honey, you're hurting my spirit because you know you in my top, and I still think you can get there, honey. But I'm gonna need you to get back in the game because them first like four or five weeks, you was killing. Them first, what I'll say, four weeks, you was killing. Mm -hmm. Now these past two, I'm like, girl, what's going on? <laughs> Let's go bring it back now. Bring it, bring it back now. Mm. But what did you think of her reveal look? It wasn't much of a reveal. You just covered up your dress. That is correct. <laughs> Pretty much. And you could tell she even had issues latching the dress in the back there for a second. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this, this... Oh my God. I don't know why she chose to come out as Tina Turner. Honestly, out of all three looks, this is the best one. I don't mind this. I'm like, okay, Tina, I see we rolling down the river. All right, honey, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> but then this. And I'm like, okay, this is okay, compared to what we've seen, cute. Mm -hmm. But then she's like, oh, hold on. I got one more. Girl, what was this? And the judges the were really gagged over this look. I'm like, why? I don't think it was the look. It was just the fact that they did three reveals that were three completely different silhouettes as opposed to everybody else who just kind of dropped something or twisted something around themselves to make a different look. I will give it to her. She did do the reveals well, but each outfit was a no for me. It just... I'd rather see... <laughs> None of them hit for me. Mm -hmm. for me. What, what about you? Did you enjoy any of the three looks? Uh, I, They were three different looks. That was it. <laughs> Period. Like, this whole, the whole episode, like, although slightly entertaining, was not the best. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh man, we're getting into bad episodes. Why? What what I think it is is we're starting to feel the hour and a half runtime. Mm -hmm. Like when there was a lot of queens, you didn't really feel it because there was so much going on. But now that the queens are starting to dwindle down, mm -hmm. we're starting to feel the hour and 30 minutes now. Right. I think that's what is going on with both of us, honestly. We're, we're feeling it because last week was the first week I felt the hour and a half. And then I felt it again for this week's episode. Right. But up next is uh, Eva LaQueen. Eva LaQueen. And baby, I was, at first I'm like, girl, what is this? I'm like, right? really finna just oh. 
this. Hello, train. Thank you for joining us. Um, <laughs> were you really finna just drop this and think call it a day? I was right? really upset. I'm like, what is going on here? But baby, little did I know. She pulled out a needle and gave us what needed to be gave. <laughs> I, loved I loved every piece of this. When she did this, I'm like, yep, she winning this week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should have seen me. I sat up in my bed. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're getting a W. You're getting a W. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Boy, was Ooh. I wrong. But I show, yep. I show what's sitting there like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, like one of them old black women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they were like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. They said, mm-mm. They said, mm-mm. Mm -mm. So out of all these looks, who had your favorite? Do I have to pick one? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I don't really like any of them. Well, who do you like the least? Dislike the least? Um, who's the last person to come out? Eva the Queen. I like Eva the Queen. <laughs> I uh, absolutely love Eva the Queen. She was the one queen that just, to me, understood the assignment. So, yeah, yeah I also agree that Eva the Queen had the best look. Now, Bridgeting was a very close second, but the reveal was really just a drop. Right. So Eva La Queen is who it is for me because uh, she did such a great job. I love the wig. So Mama Pal, your runway presentation was a hit and miss. I was disappointed. Same. Yep. <laughs> same. Same, sis. Same. It's Under Woman, you know? <laughs> Do you even know what a revelation means? I'm like, damn, mama. She read them to fill, man. I'm just sitting there, baby. I perked. I sat up in my bed. I'm like, ma'am, we are reading the girls. Baby. She's like, do, do, do you not understand what a reveal is? Mm. Do, you, do you not understand? Did you not understand the assignment when I, we gave you the piece of paper? When we called you with the prompts. Baby, she was not having it. I really thought we were finna see some people, more than just two people lip sync. I'm like, oh, we finna see some lip syncs. <laughs> uh, what you reveal, reveal should make us gag, make us wow. And nobody yes. really did that except for Eva. Popping those balloons and seeing the pain fall down was beautiful. But we find out that precious Paul Nicole is safe. I hate braided wigs. I don't mind braided wigs. I don't mind them. But we find out she's safe. If Venus wouldn't have bombed her second snatch game, I think she would have been in the bottom. But since Venus bombed, we have our tops and bottom placements here. Our bottom queens are Bridgeting, Minty Fresh, and Vinyas Deluxe. Our top queens are Marina Summers, Silhouette, and Eva La Queen. Do you agree with this top and bottom placements? Uh, yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think Silhouette should have been up there, but com like compared to the rest, I'm like, she did better than Precious Paul and Nicole. And if Vinyas would have nailed her second character, I feel like Silhouette would have got the safe spot. Vinyas would have been high and mm -hmm. Precious Paul and Nicole would have been, you know, in the bottom three. But with what we were presented, this is what I think this is a fair top and bottom. Okay. This is where I differ. Silhouette got the win. Mm -hmm. Again, please let us know if that impersonation of um that doctor she did, Dr. Vicky, was just that mm -hmm. good. Because as us Americans, honey, that didn't hit for us. It really didn't. I really thought Eva was going to win this week. I really did. And I'm like, okay, y'all playing in my good sis face. Y'all are playing in my good sis face and y'all gonna make me show out. <laughs> yep. But yeah, Silhouette won, so congratulations. And we find out that our bottom two is Bridgeting and Minty Fresh. Do you agree with this bottom two placement? 
Yeah. Same. I do. I'm like, yeah. because Venus did so good on that first half of the Snatch game, I'm like, that's enough for her to, you know, to push through. It, it needs to be these two here. So they lip sync too. I'm going to try to pronounce this to my best ability. Amaka Bogera? Mm -hmm. Amaka Bogera. Amaka Bogera. By Meme Entrata. Entrata. Entrata? Mm hmm. <laughs> Let me know how my uh, pronunciation was on that. But we have these two queens lip syncing. What did you think of this lip sync? What to say? Mm. It was interesting. I enjoyed this lip sync. I thought they both did a really good job with the song. They both mm -hmm. did a really good job with playing towards the judges and towards the camera because, you know, a lot of queens this season are just playing toward the judges and forgetting there's a camera okay. in their face. Right? On on all seasons, not just this one. <laughs> and baby, I was so over Minty when she did this terrible dip. She's like, I've never done one before, but I'm going to do it today. <laughs> and then... They didn't even zoom in on it to show how bad she was. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's going to go home. <laughs> right. She is going to go to the house, okay? Because to me, Bridgeting was, they both were doing a great job, but Bridgeting really was giving me what I needed from the song. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they were both performing. And then Mama Pal decides that Minty Fresh is the winner of this lip sync. Do you agree with Minty Fresh winning? the lip sync not really I, I really thought Bridgeting won that lip sync I really did and I'm so sick of Drag Race calling the dip a death drop please stop doing that mm -hmm. that annoys me every time I hear that but yeah mm -hmm. I really thought Bridgeting won this lip sync so I was like what is going on here but Mama Pal gagged us and said Bridgeting, don't worry. You're going to stay too, honey. <laughs> but here's the thing that really uh, kind of irritated me about her staying. Mm -hmm. they, she, Mama Pal basically said, oh, you're a superstar outside this place. So that's why we're going to keep you. What? <laughs> it, gave, yeah. it gave me very candy weight. Candy weight. It gave me very, oh, we're going to bring somebody back for absolutely no reason. It gave me very candy. I am not ready for you to go. Stay, stay. Baby, if you're going to do a double Shantae, do a double Shantae. Just say Shantae, you both stay, honey. But, you know, I found out some tea. Mm. So apparently, mm -hmm. the producers were pushing Paolo to make a decision between the right. two. But Mama Pal was like, no, I want this to be a double Shantae. Mm -hmm. And they were like, well, we don't have it in the episode count to do another episode. So if we do this, we won't be able to have a reunion. So Mama Pal was like, fine, then no reunion. And kept both of these queens. Wow. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Right. It must be nice to have an executive producer uh <laughs> credit in your pocket um, baby baby she said no I want them both to stay and, and I, I am kind of sad we won't get a reunion but you know reunions are pretty like slow episodes for me mm -hmm. I did, like, and we don't cover them anyway so yeah, and I did like the twist that Canada season 2 did with their reunion they turned it into that lip sync for the finale I'm mm -hmm. like okay that's cute you trying to get me to tune in I, I see you I see you <laughs> But yeah, but Bridgeting gets to stay. I'm super excited because like a, like we both said, we think Bridgeting won the lip sync. <laughs> so I'm happy to see that she's here. Everybody's happy, but Marina. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I, I, I'm with her. She was like in a confessional. No, these bitches need to go home. I'm like, yes. I would be mad <laughs> if, you know, I was in the back of the room and I hear RuPaul say, Shantae, you both stay. What do you mean? No, we need to keep this a pushing. She need to go on to the house. <laughs> go on to the house, honey. No, 
No. See, she was not. She was not having it. She was not. Not at all. But next week, I think we're going to be doing a ball because Venus Ooh. said my first look is a parody within a parody. And that's the part that's getting me my first look. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we're going to get a ball next week. Maybe. Because uh, Mama, Mama Pal didn't say it in the little piece before we got to here. So I'm thinking we're going to get a ball next week. And you know, we love a ball, honey. That's going to be a lot of looks. No, a lot of looks. I do not know how this is going to go out with Raul. Straight up calling an outfit trash. Mm -hmm. This is giving me very Jeffrey uh, Boyer Chapman from Canada season one. And you saw how they treated him after that. Right. And it just, he's like, I know what you can do with this is trash. I'm like, you might, because even uh, Mama Pal was like, uh, I need to see full context before we can give our commentary on it. But yeah, you can critique the looks. Now we can call it trash because, you know, we just joke and laugh and kiki. And, but I don't right. think I could ever tell somebody that their look was straight up trash to their face. I'm like, oh, it wasn't no, my favorite. Like, you, know what? You, you needed some help just a little bit. Yeah, like it wasn't my favorite, blah, blah, this. Try to throw some constructive criticism in there, but just to say straight up trash? No, no, honey. But honey, we're running out of time, so let's get up on out of here. Where can they find you on the social medias? You can find me at Christian McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L -L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. -E Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. If I could.